my most recent crochet obsession has been bucket hats if you <laughs> if you literally go through my short speed right now it's literally just bucket hat bucket hat bucket hat bucket hat maybe skincare but bucket hat bucket hat anyways hello welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's loa baby i was just at 100 subscribers and i blinked and now i'm at 10,000. this was the goal this is what i wanted to get to but like i guess i didn't think about how it would feel to actually get here and it feels amazing like my heart is so full because i feel like i have a whole connection with people on here i love responding to the comments on here because they're usually so nice it's just always positivity and joy in my comment section and i love it all my crochet skills i've learned on youtube i've learned from other people just it feels really cool for me to also have an audience to be able to share stuff too i'm just really trying to get in a better habit of recording myself crocheting actually editing the videos too in a timely manner and then posting it that was my thank you spiel if you didn't get that um thank you for coming to my TED talk and thank you for subscribing to my channel if you are new here and you like my videos subscribe to my channel too why not <laughs> why not anyways the hat that I made for this tutorial is actually inspired by a pair of shoes that got sent to me a very gorgeous strappy sandal heel and I was like what would go perfect with this a bucket hat so I made one to match it and the pattern for my bucket hats is officially on my website and a tutorial is coming soon. To make this hat, you can use any weave for yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. Here I use 100% mercerized cotton yarn mixed with acrylic yarn to make this hat specifically but you can use as many colors as you'd like or even use a gradient yarn so you don't have to switch colors. First, you're gonna start with the magic circle and half double crochet eight into the circle. Make sure to tighten your circle as you go along, but not too tight so you can fit eight half double crochet in there. When you've completed your eight half of double crochet, tighten the circle all the way and use a stitch marker to mark the end of your first row. For the second row, you're going to half double crochet two in each stitch for a total of 16 stitches. As you're working in the round, you can tuck in the string that you started along with. To switch colors, start a half double crochet stitch, but when you're pulling through the second time, pull through the new color. So you're gonna start a half double crochet stitch, but then you're gonna take your new yarn and pull that through to switch colors. For the third round, half double crochet two in the first stitch and then half double crochet one in the next stitch. You're going to repeat this two half double crochet, one half double crochet in the next stitch eight times for a total of 24 stitches.
I also personally like to cut and tuck in my yarn while I work so I don't have to worry about it in the end but I only cut the black yarn and I left the white yarn alone because I will continue working with the white yarn for the next row. So I'm switching back to the white yarn again for round four the same way I'm going to start a half double crochet and then I'm going to pull through with the white yarn. So for round four, I'm going to half double crochet two in the first stitch and then half double crochet one in the next two stitches. Again, I'm going to repeat this sequence eight times for a total of 32 stitches. So I'm going to keep repeating the same pattern until I complete the crown of my hat. So for round 5, I'm going to half double crochet 2 in the first stitch, and then I'm going to half double crochet 1 in the next 3 stitches after that for a total of 40 stitches. For this hat, I completed 10 rounds for a total of 80 stitches.
To make the hat larger, you can continue for up to 12 rounds following the same pattern for a total of 96 stitches. I've used a stitch marker to mark the end of my crown and the start of the cap. Ten rows of half double crochet is about 3.5 inches, but the best gauge to see if your cap is long enough is if the hat is able to touch the tip of your ears when you have it on your head. For the first row of the brim, I'm going to half double crochet two in the first stitch and then half double crochet one in the next nine stitches. I'm going to do this eight times for a total of 88 stitches. For the next five rows of the brim, I'm going to continue increasing each row, but not in the same uniform manner that we use to make the crown. So for the second row of the brim, I'm going to half double crochet two stitches at eight random points while working around the brim for a total of 96 stitches. The reason why you want to make the increases randomly is so that you don't form corners or points in the brim from where you keep increasing. For the third row, I have 104 stitches in total. For row four, I have 112 stitches in total. For row five, I have 120 stitches. And for row six, I end with 128 stitches. For the final row of the brim, I switched my hook to a 4mm one and I single crocheted 128 stitches for one row with gold sequin yarn, but you can use regular acrylic yarn here.
When I completed the final row, I just had to go back and cut my yarn because I'd already tucked in my yarn as I was working. If you've gotten to this point of the video, thank you so much for watching my tutorial and I hope this helps you make a bucket hat. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and if you would also like the written pattern, it's available on my website. Make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see the bucket hats that you guys make and make sure to have fun with it too. Get creative, use as many or as little colors as you want, it's all up to you. Again, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.